the NCAA help promote good sportsmanship by student athletes, coaches, and spectators. We request your cooperation by supporting the participants and the officials in a positive manner. Profanity, racial, or sexist comments or other intimidating actions directed at officials, student athletes, coaches, or team representatives will not be tolerated and are grounds for removal from the site of the competition. We encourage you to cheer for your favorite team, but please do so without directing negative personal remarks against the opposing team. The use and consumption of alcohol or tobacco products is strictly prohibited. Thank you for your good sportsmanship.
gentlemen, welcome to Altero's Gym on the beautiful campus of Montana State University Billings. Tonight's game features the University of Providence Argos versus your own MSU Yellow Jackets. This time we ask you to please rise from your caps and face the flag as we honor America in the playing of the national anthem.
draw that stirs the drink for this Argos offense. Cutting in, layup, no good on play. Possessing one of the Yellow Jackets here. Harris Williams averaging over 24 points per game so far this season. As he goes, first next possession for the Yellow Jackets. Famous left hand working on the outside. It's by Jalen Todd in the left corner. Steven Richardson back to the top for top. Left hand pops a three, no good. Fading to his right. Ron Richardson with the rebounds. Todd pops a three. Left the Yellow Jackets. Full court press early here, but all over it. And up the floor, Jalen Reed. Catch and right inside. There's Williams. Three Argos answered. Two on the board. Two to lead for the Yellow Jackets. Famous left hand working to the top all the way around. Steven Richardson. Back to left hand. Back to the top for Daniel Moody around. Jalen Tott. Another three is up. No good. Inside the rim. Back out. See him find. He takes rebound. Long feet all the way up. Kaoli. Poked away on the back pressure. I believe the Argos are going to keep possession. They will. Davian Harris Williams will have the inbounds. Inbound for Viney right across for Jalen Reed. He drives in, floats the two. No good. Rebound taken by Daniel Moody. Little spin move gets away from Jalen Reed. Ends up the floor with Strong Richmond. He'll pop a deep three. No good. Ran it out. And now the rebound there is Kaoli. Against it. Olsen backs his man down, puts it up. It's good. Argos take a lead for three. So the Jackets trail for the first time in this one by the slimmest of margins. Daniel Moody works it around for famous left hands. Back to the top, Saron Richmond. And now for Jalen Tott. And Steven Richardson on the left hand side. Back for Tott, all the way around for left hand. Thought about the three. He'll kick it back out for Tott. Another three for Tott. No good, now one for three. And the Jackets will keep possession there with seven on the shot clock. Five, four of the five starters for the Yellow Jackets this season averaging double digit points per game. Jalen Tott, Daniel Moody, Zeron Richmond, and famous left hand. All up over 10 per game so far this season. Working it around, back to the top, famous left hand. Back in, Richardson. Back out for Richmond, he'll drive in for a moment. Now all the way across, Jalen Tott, another three, no good. Rebound taken by Moody, put back, no good. So second chance doesn't pan out for the Yellow Jackets there. They still trail by one. Davian Harris-Williams had it taken away. I believe it was out of play off a of Yellow Jacket though. We get some subs here for the Yellow Jackets. Kai Koba, Emmanuel Ajanaku, and Jawan Tott in for the Jackets. Slow start for the Jackets. Just one basket so far. Tight lid on the rim since that first possession. And quick pass stolen away there by Jawan Tott. He'll go in a hurry all by himself up off the glass. No good. And the Argos looking to respond with some speed of their own. Sam Viney pops the three, and it's good. Viney getting the Argos a four-point lead at 7-3 with 16 and a half to go here in the first. Now working around, Jawan Tott drives a lane. Thought about putting it up, kicked it back. Zeron Richmond, open look for the three off the rim, no good. The big man, Emmanuel Ajanaku with the rebound, kicks all the way to the top for famous left hand. Left hand, threes up. No good, rolled on the rim, came out. Emmanuel Ajanaku took his own rebounds and took the foul as well. He'll head to the stripe, first trip for either team in this one. Jackets so far struggling outside the arc. They are one for eight from deep range. 
Trailing by just four, though. They face bigger deficits this season. Emmanuel Lajonicu to the stripe. First one no good. Back of the rim, back out. And a Jonaku trying to make it a one for two trip to the line. All together on the season coming into this one, he's shooting over 83% from the stripe. Let's see if he can cash in this second one, get his jackets within three. He does. So a Jonaku cashes in one on the free throws. Argonauts back to work offensively. Kaoli working his way up the floor. And quick little crossover. Ran into Kai Koba. Turns him back. Fading on the two. He got fouled though. Koba stuck to him. A little too much physicality there. Media timeout. We'll take it. 15.46 to go. First half. Yellow Jackets trail 7-4. Back out of the timeout. Drayton Kaoli headed to the stripe. First attempts for the Argos in this one. First attempt, good. On the season, Kaoli shooting just under 74% from the stripe. That'll certainly help that. He goes two for two. Inbound comes for Jawan Tot, so the Jackets down by five. Haven't trailed much in these recent games. They do here, though. Benny Fugula finds a lane, drives, puts it up, no good, off the glass. And now the inbound pass for Olsen. We're gonna back outside for Freddie Brown. And he'll reorganize the offense here. Bounce pass finding Olsen. And nice pass inside. Davian Harris-Williams off the glass and good. Points in the paint there for the Argonauts. Jackets going quick. Bryce Whitaker pops, three, good. Bryce Whitaker getting the Jackets three more first points since their first possession of the game. And the Argos looking to respond. Freddie Brown left side, three pointer, no good. Rebound taken there by Olsen. We're gonna see who that was out off of. Looks like it was off the Argonauts, so the Jackets will take over. And the inbound for Jawan Tott. They'll drop it off for Kai Koba right back around to Bryce Whitaker. Koba works back for Jawan Tott. He'll drive in, kicks it back. Benny Fugula, three's open from the right side. He hits it. So back to back trays for the Jackets. Gets them back within two points. 14 and a half to go, first half. Argonauts again looking for an answer. Now working on the outside. 
And Brown lost his handle on the pass. A little too hot. Kaoli bobbled it out of play, so the Jacks will take possession here. Kai Koba for the inbounds. And Jawan Sot. A little slower pace up the floor for the Jackets. He'll drop it off for Daniel Moody. Back around, Benny Fungala. Fungala looking for a lane, none to be had there. Pass deflected out of play. Jackets will keep possession, 14 even to go here in the first half. Jawan Todd inbounds for Bryce Whitaker. His pass was tipped. Kai Koba recovered in a hurry. Now it's thrown away. Argos quick break. Up off the glass, no good. Turning and burning there for the offense was Caleb Currington. And Koba's going to take the foul there, so Currington's going to head to the line. Second trip for the Argonauts here in this first half. On the season, Currington shooting 75% even from the foul line. He's one for one. And two for two is Currington from the stripe. Argo is back to a four point lead here in the first half. Jawan Tot. Again, we're going to find an offensive spark. Jackets, all the points from outside the arc. Steven Richardson down low, mid range two, no good. And rebound taken there by Milner. And quick up the floor, Harris Williams, long feed for Currington. He'll drop it back for Harris Williams. They'll settle it down, set a play here. Harris Williams working on Whitaker, kicks it out. Currington, open look for the three, no good. Front of the rim, rebound taken, Benny Fungala. And he'll turn and burn. Drives the lane, gets in. Got a whistle there, offensive foul for the Jackets. Argos will take over possession there. 13.09 to go in the first half. And the inbound pass for Harris Williams. And long three, popping it in a hurry. No good. Steven Richardson takes a rebound. He's going quick. Drops it off. Zeron Richmond all the way around for Bryce Whitaker. And into the corner, Juwan Tots three, a little bit long there. And out of play, so the Yellow Jackets are going to give up possession there. Still trailing 13 to 9. Tough sledding for the Jackets so far. And the inbound for Richardson, now for Jalen Tott. His lob pass inside, back out, Jawan Tott trying to find a lane, nothing doing, out of play again. Steven Richardson pops a three, it's good. So the Jackets back within one point. As I said, tough sledding for the Jackets. All points coming from outside the arc. They're shooting four for 17 as a team so far. Argos again looking for an answer. Harris Williams stops inside the arc. Back out to him. Little pump fake, found some space. Stop and pop deep two, no good. Rebound working around. Milner takes it there for the Argos. And passing outside for Harris Williams. Nice pass inside. Brown up off the glass. No good. Unfortunate bounce. Zeron Richmond battling for it there. Foul number 40, Sam 
And we'll get the jump ball. Jax will take possession there. Daniel Moody's going to have the inbounds. And media timeout. We'll stay through it. Yellow Jackets and the Argos. Their history goes back over 20 years. First game was played here at Alterowitz Gym on February 8th, 2001. Jackets started off the series with a 109-77 win. And all time, the Jackets are 9-1. This series exclusively played in Billings to this point. Last season, the Jackets took down the Argos 96-76. to First meeting since 2017 last year. As I said off the top, the first of two in-state games this week for the Jackets. On Saturday night, they'll host Rocky Mountain College in the second half of their Rimrock rivalry. Of course, the Jackets went to Rocky back on November 15th and lost a heartbreaker. One point loss. 70 to 69 was the final in that one. Dating back to last season, the Jackets are 0-2 against the Battle and Bears. Total differential, two points. Back-to-back single-point losses. They'll try to correct that on Saturday. Before we get there, though, business to take care of here. They trail the University of Providence Argonauts 13-12 here in the first half. Jalen Tott finds the Ron Richmond. And passing outside now for Daniel Moody. And we'll get a whistle here. I believe that's going to be a defensive foul. Freddie Brown on the coverage. A little too much contact. He'll draw the foul. So the Jackets, 20 on the shot clock, 11.25 to go in this first half. Again, nothing inside the arc for the Jackets yet in this game. All 12 points, three-pointers. Jalen Tott. Works it inside, just as I say that. Steven Richardson, a chance down low, didn't go in for him. Eric Milner with the rebound, he'll get up the floor. And now working it outside, right back to him. Milner working on Richmond, his bounce pass. Finds Jake Olson, trying to post up. Pivots up off the glass, no good. Rebound taken by Steven Richardson. And he'll drop it off for Daniel Moody. And now back for Tot. Jalen Tott picks up a screen, drops it back. Zeron Richmond, little head fake, back out for Tott. And too much contact there one more time. That time the foul is going to go against Currington again. A little too much contact. Fourth foul in this first half for the Argos. Jackets are sitting at two. Inbound pass comes across the floor for Jalen Tott. And he'll kick it. Famous left hand. Drops a three. No good. Rebound taken by Daniel Moody. He'll reset it. Now for Steven Richardson. Posting up. Spins inside. First points down low. Go to Steven Richardson. Jackets lead 14-13. Quick back up the floor in a hurry. Reed drops it all the way out. Milner's three. No good. But on the second chance... Jalen Reed drops it in. So right back to the lead for Providence. Again on the outside, left hand twisting away from one. Nearly lost it. Ron Richmond was there to scoop it up. And now Richardson pass outside. Left hand drives the baseline. No good. We're going to see. I believe he picked up the foul. He did. So left hand's going to head to the stripe. Junior transfer out of Crow Agency. He's shooting his first shots. First one's good. Davey, 
And the second one falls as well. So left hand, two for two in the game. He's six for six on the season from the line, giving the Jackets back a one-point lead. And back to possession for the Argonauts. Jake Olson looking for a pass. Found one, Davian Harris-Williams. Lob pass right back to Olson. Back outside, three balls up and good. Drayton Kaoli getting it to go. Back to a two point lead for the Argos. Back and forth we go. Jalen Tott looks to respond, no good from outside the arc. Argos take the rebound. Harris Williams lob pass, finds Olsen, backs it down. I believe he's gonna pick up the foul there, he will. Daniel Moody was there on the SWAT team just in case. So possession for the Yellow Jackets. Daniel Moody's inbounds. Finding Jalen Todd, here we go. Just, on, just over halfway through first half in this one. Jackets trail 18-16. Bounce pass inside. Richmond nearly stolen away, got it back himself though. Long pass, thrown away there. Too much air under that one for famous left hand. So the Argonauts take back possession here. 8.45 to go, first half. Kaoli's pass eventually finds a way through. Harris Williams driving. Pass behind his back, looking for Olsen. Believe they'll keep possession. Jackets out of touch. So Harris Williams will inbounds. Coming all the way to the top, Jalen Reed, deep three, no good, back of the rim, distance wasn't an issue there. Harris Williams, another three, that one falls. So back-to-back -back looks for the Argos, second one falls from outside the arc, Yellow Jackets again fall behind, this time by five. Head coach Luke Fennelly's seen enough, he'll take a timeout. They'll talk it over. As we sit, both teams with identical records, both sitting at five and three on the season. Two of those for the Yellow Jackets have come in conference play. The Argos have yet to open their conference schedule. Argonauts coming off a dominant win over the University of Concordia Edmonton. 113 to 63 the final in that one. Davian Harris Williams and Jake Olson led the way through that victory. Olson with 15 points. Harris Williams right there with 14. Five assists as well. In fact, five total Argonauts had double digit points in that effort. Back to work here. Jackets now off the timeout. Trying to get things straight. They've struggled at both ends of the floor. They haven't taken away second chance opportunities for the Argonauts. And they failed to get them themselves on the offensive end of the floor. Back to work. Benny Fungula working at the top. Now he finds famous left hand back for Fungula. Now trying to work it inside. Little give and go with Daniel Moody. Had it covered though, did Sam Viney. Working back outside. Richmond drives. Spins, puts it up off the glass and goods are on Richmond's. Getting the Jackets back within three. Harris Williams speeding it up a bit for the Argonauts. Passes inside for Olsen. And now back out for Viney. All the way back around for Kaoli. Between the legs, drives, 
Spins, fades back on the two, no good. Rim and out, Harris Williams there to collect the rebound. Tight coverage on the baseline, nearly stolen away. Benny Fungala recovered by Viney, back out. Harris Williams, threes up, no good. Rebound taken by Daniel Moody. Moody leads the Jackets in that department. He's averaging just under six defensive rebounds per game. Jackets back to work offensively. Zeron Richmond drops it off. Jalen Todd has a lane, drives. No good, swatted away as he got rid of it. Sam Viney dropping it off. Kaoli nearly lost it, drives in. Back out for Viney. Puts it up, mid-range two is good. Nothing but net there for Sam Viney. Five-point advantage back intact for the Argonauts. 6.45 to go first half. Benny Fungal, a nice move down the baseline. He goes up and good. He'll head to the stripe and one opportunity for Benny Fungala. Benny Fungala, just his second trip to the line all season. First one was also a three-point attempt. He hit that one. And he does this one as well. So Fungala one for one in the game from the stripe. And Drayton Kaoli is slowing the pace down a bit. Now he drops it off for Harris Williams as a lob pass finds Olsen. Back for Harris Williams, little give and go there. And again down low, Olsen just couldn't finish. Good look, good play. Jackets going quick. Left hand pops a three, it's good. Famous left hand. Knocking down the three, getting the Jackets to a one-point lead, 24-23. Back and forth we go now. Kaoli, little fake, back out. Harris Williams responds with a three of his own. Davian Harris Williams, first player to 10 points in this one. And Bryce Whitaker now going to slow it down a bit for the Jackets. Benny Fungala puts up a three, no good, front of the rim. I believe the foul is going to come defensively here. And it will. Sam Viney picking up the foul. So we'll get shots from Zeron Richmond. First one's good. Richmond leads this team in free throw percentage on the season, just under 88%. And this will add to that. Two for two from the stripe so far tonight for Zeron Richmond. He'll check you out. Emmanuel Lajonicu back in for the Jackets. The man they call Big E. On the other end of the floor, Jalen Reed, nice pass, finding Kaoli back out for Viney by himself. Threes up and good, so two point, three point lead here for the Argonauts. Five and a half to go. Bryce Whitaker directing traffic, picking up a screen for a moment. Left hand drops it off for Moody, all the way back around for Fungala. Fungala drives, knocked away. So Viney picking up another foul. That again, Jackets in bonus territory here. Every foul is going to send him to the stripe. Fungala, second opportunity tonight from the line. That one's no good. And second one drops. Benny Fungala, two for three from the stripe in this one. Jackets trail 29-27. Davian Harris-Williams. 
Covered by Daniel Moody, his pass finds Olsen. And now for Jalen Reed. He'll drive in all by himself, up off the glass and good, right down the center lane for Jalen Reed. And he's gonna pick up the end one as well here. So a chance to extend their lead to five. Jalen Reed's first attempt of the game. No good in and out. So the deficit for the Jackets sticks at four. 4.45 to go first half. Famous left hand bounce pass finds Daniel Moody. Back outside left hand. Threes up and good. Nothing but net there for Famous left hand. Deficit cut to just one. Davian Harris-Williams slowing the pace down for the Argonauts. A little shake and bake. Pass inside for Olsen. He's double covered. Back out. Kaoli. Now for Jalen Reed. He'll drive. Guarded by Benny Fungla. Puts it up. No good. Bounced off the rim. Emmanuel Ajanaku takes the rebound. Gets it ahead for Bryce Whitaker. And into the corner. Left hand. Another three. Back to back for famous left hand. He's up into double digits, now with 11, he leads all players. Harris Williams looking to answer one more time. Jalen Reed dropping it off. Freddie Brown back for Harris Williams. And fake shot there, Kaoli gets it back for Reed. Reed drives in again and again off the glass and good. Jalen Reed has no problem knifing right through the lane and making his own luck. Back-to-back -back buckets for him doing just that. Jackets, tie game, 33-all. Daniel Moody from under the rim puts it up, no good. They're going to get him for a travel on the effort there, so we'll take immediate timeout. 3.19 to go, first half. We're tied at 33 apiece. Set to resume here at Alterowitz Gym. Jackets are in a battle, 33 all, with 3.19 to go left in the first half. Argonauts have come to battle. Jackets in their three game win streak had a plus 58 point differential coming into this one. Harris Williams driving the lane, pass knocked away but out of bounds. Jackets have not played much from behind in recent games. They're getting plenty of it here. They fell behind early. They've gotten it back, but it's been a seesaw ever since. 3.10 to go. Inbound, Caleb Currington, Harris Williams popping the three. No good, back of the rim. Rebound taken down by Bryce Whitaker. He'll head up the floor. Picks up a screen, now works it out for Famous left hand, right back for Whitaker. Whitaker steps back for a second, now he finds Fungal, a left hand corner, he'll drive the baseline up, no good. I believe he'll pick up the foul there. 
That'll send Fungala back to the strike. He's two for three so far in this one. First one no good, rimming out there for Fungala. Fungala's third trip to the line tonight. He had one all season coming into tonight's game. He was one for one. So far tonight, two for four. And make it three for five. So Benny getting the Jackets a one point lead with 2.48 to go in the first half. Inbound back for Harris Williams. Leading this Argonaut bunch with 10 points. Jalen Reed's right there with nine. Finds him. Threes up. No good. In and out there for Jalen Reed from outside the arc. Zeron Richmond takes the rebound for the Jackets. Holds up. Drops it off. Left hand. Threes up again. That one's no good. A little too much on that one. Richmond takes the rebound. Left hand. Nice bounce pass. Finds Daniel Moody. Moody puts it up and in. Jackets now with a three-point cushion. Something they have struggled to do. They have not been able to get a lead and add to it. See if they can get a stop here. Caleb Currington on the outside. He'll take a step back, direct some traffic. He'll pick up some help. Harris Williams, little pump fake, drives in, puts it up. No good. Rebound taken there, Jalen Reed. And now for Harris Williams, little pump fake, gets in. Going up, had it swatted away. Foul before that, though. So, fifth foul in the half of the Jackets. Harris Williams is going to inbound. We'll find Jalen Reed. And working on the outside, driving in, nearly ripped away by Jalen Tott. Found it though, did Harris Williams, and he'll cash in on the three pointer. Jalen Tott nearly had, a, nearly had the steal, nearly had a scoop and score. Just didn't take a team friendly bounce there for the Yellow Jackets. And again, they've seen another lead slip away. 36 36, first half, 131 to go. Back to work, Daniel Moody's gonna have the inbounds for Jalen Tott. And he's gonna slow the pace down here with a minute and a half left. Thirty-six all, famous left hand right back for Tott, now around for Richardson. Quick passes, trying to find an open man. Nice work to get it inside there for Moody. He'll kick it right back out, famous left hand. And we got a stoppage before the shot from Richardson. So Caleb Currington's going to pick up the foul on Famous left hand. And that'll send left hand to the stripe. Two for two so far tonight from the line for left hand. That one's good. And left hand goes two for two. He and Davian Harris-Williams lead all players, each with 13 points. They've been going back and forth all night. And now Drayton Kaoli driving the lane, turn back. 
Richmond forcing him back outside the line. And now around for Jalen Reed. Guarded by Jalen Tott. Finds a lane, puts it up. And good. Lane looked closed. Reed still made it work. He's up to 11 points. Now clock taking under 40 to go. Back for Jalen Todd. He'll play catch with Richardson. Todd thought about it for a moment. Bounce pass now for Richmond into the key. Left hand no good. Shot clock's dead. 20 to go. Argos are going to slow this one down with 38. We're tied at 38 apiece. 10 seconds to go. He's got his orders from the bench. Last possession here is going to go to the Argonauts. Let's see if they can turn it into points. Threes up. Harris Williams no good. Left hand outlets. Jalen Tott. He's the one you want to take that long shot. Didn't get it out before the buzzer though. So we'll head to halftime. 38 all. Davian Harris Williams lead the art leads the Argos with 13 points. Famous left hand leads the Jackets with the same. Neither team doing it down low tonight. Comfortable shooting from outside. Not a, lo a lot of room to be had down low. In terms of points in the paint, Providence leads that category by a score of 12 to 8. Although 11 personal fouls in this one for the Argos. Got to keep an eye on that. In a game this tight, that many trips to the line certainly could prove to be the difference in the game. With that, we will step aside for halftime. Yellow Jackets tied with the visiting Argonauts, 38 all.
Welcome back to Altero. It's Jim. Halftime nearly complete. Yellow Jackets. Tight one with a prop. Now 38 all. Unfamiliar territory for the Jackets in that first half. They held the lead for two minutes and 20 seconds. This coming off games where they didn't trail at any point for the Argos holding the lead for a combined 15 minutes and 38 seconds in that first half. One thing they've done fantastic they have not allowed the Yellow Jackets to savor any kind of a lead. As soon as the Jackets take a lead, the largest they've had in this game, mind you, just three points. Seems like the Argos come right down the floor in a hurry, put up a three-pointer, get it back even. We're going to see if the Jackets can take a lead and add to it in this second half. And a big key for them may be getting it done down low so far in this game. Just eight points in the paint for the Yellow Jackets. They have a lot of great three-point shooters, but they've also done great this year, working it down low, taking a higher percentage opportunity. Those easy points, see if they can get to that here. They've certainly got some size over the Argonauts. On the other side of the floor, Jalen Reed has been a problem to deal with for the Jackets. He finds lanes, he gets through them. Even when the lanes close, he has no problem fading back and still making, making his shot. So they're gonna have to find a way to get Jalen Reed in check. Davian Harris-Williams leads the team with 13. Famous left hand leads the Jackets with 13 as well. Second half, here we go. Drayton Kaoli inbounds. Davian Harris-Williams, we are underway. Jalen Reed working his way across the top, finds a lane, gets through it, puts it up, and good. Just as the scouting report would suggest, Jalen Reed, when you think you got him cornered, he makes something out of nothing. They got to find a way to get him in check. Argos to the lead, 40 38. Jackets first possession of the half. Nice play down low. Getting to it right away. Lob pass finds it around Richmond. Nice touch there. Not going to count from the foul. We'll bring it back to the inbound for Jalen Tott. And I believe trying to make sure the, sh the clock is correct. It is. Inbound all the way to the top for left hand. Right back for Todd, he'll set it. Inside, Moody drives up off the glass and good. He led to the stripe as well. So the Jackets get it even with a chance to take the lead here on this first possession thanks to an and one opportunity for Daniel Moody. On the season, shooting just over 75%. That one hits the rim and comes off. So we stay locked at 40 apiece. Again, the Jackets not able to find a lead. Jalen Reed back to work. Nice backside pass for Olsen. Couldn't go anywhere with it. Daniel Moody is right with him. Back out. Sam Viney drives this time. Pivots back. Puts it up. And Richardson going to pick up the defensive foul. He did not like the call. Got to be careful to avoid the technical there. Talking to the official. And now the inbound, Kaoli. Coming inside for Jake Olson. Now to the top. Sam Viney stops, pops. Deep two is good for Sam Viney. So the Argos back to a two-point advantage. Played from a lead for most of the night. Back to it here. Famous left hand. Deep two. In and out. And the Argos are going to take possession there. 
Looks like Daniel Moody may have reached over the top of an Argonaut trying to take that rebound. So the Argos with a chance to add to their lead here. Jalen Reed inbounds for Harris Williams. And slowing the pace down a little bit. Working back to the right-hand side. Kicks it back for Kaoli. Kaoli drives in, spins at the foul line. Nice bounce pass from his from the seated position. And the takeaway there by Daniel Moody up ahead. Benny Fungula finds Jalen Tott. His bounce pass comes off the foot of Jalen Reed out of play. So Jackets keep possession here. 18-20 to go, second half. Jackets trail by two. Jalen Tott pops a deep two. It's good. Jalen Tott coming off a 19-point outing last Saturday against Alaska Fairbanks. He's up to five so far in this one. So back even, this time at 42. Jalen Reed back to work, pops a three. No good that time. Daniel Moody takes another rebound. Turning and burning up the floor in a hurry. Drops it off, Benny Fungula. Now for famous left hand. Bounce pass inside, Moody. Post up, spin, glass, good. Daniel Moody had the size mismatch down low. Took advantage of it. Jackets back to the lead. Now Sam Viney works it around. Jalen Reed picks up a screen, drives. Trying to post up on Fungula, puts it up off the glass, no good. Foul coming here as well. And that's gonna send Jalen Reed to the stripe with a chance to even this game. So Reed to the stripe for the second time in this one. With that make, he's sitting at one for two. Certainly below his season percentage. He's shooting just under 85% coming into this one on the season. And second one's good as well. So we're back even again at 44. Been tight all night. Neither team's been able to establish a lot of separation. The largest lead belongs to the Argos. It was five points. Benny Fungula drives in, spins up and good. Finger roll there from Benny Fungula. A couple of difficult makes for him in this one. Back to a lead for the Yellow Jackets. Argos again looking for an answer, driving in. Davian Harris Williams gets it to go. So back and forth we go. Jackets exchanging leads and ties here in the second half. Benny Fungula back for Richmond. He'll stop, drive. Now left hand fading to his right deep two. No good. Rebound taken there by Jalen Reed. And he's going to head up the floor for the Argos. Dropping it off for Harris Williams. He'll give it right back. He'll drive. Posting up. Spins. Glass. No good. Raymond out. Believe they're gonna pick up the foul again. They will, so Reed's gonna head right back to the stripe. Two for three on the night for Reed with a chance to get the Argos back to a lead here. First one's good. And sub here for the Jackets, Emmanuel Ajanaku in for Daniel Moody. Jalen Reed goes two for two on this trip. So after missing his first one of the nights, Jalen Reed cashes in on his next four three free throws in a row. Providence is a team shooting seven for eight tonight. Bounce pass, finds Ajanaku now down low. Richmond spins, puts it up, no good, rebound. Harris Williams, but he took it out of bounds with him. So the Jackets will keep possession again, trying to get this game even. Played from behind for a majority of the game.
All the way to the top, Benny Fungala. Now Zeron Richmond open, look, mid-range two is good. Don't want to give Richmond that look, he'll drain it every time. Back even, 48 all. Handing it off, Sam Viney poked away by Benny Fungala. Out of play, Zeron Richmond sprinting for that one, trying to keep it in, just not in time. Media timeout, we'll take it, 15.47 to go, second half, we're tied at 48. Back to work, timeout complete. The inbound from Sam Viney comes for Davian Harris-Williams and drops it off for Freddie Brown for a moment. Back for Harris-Williams, now looking inside. Jake Olson drops it off. Viney puts up deep two, it's good. Sam Viney. And back to work offensively for the Jackets. Ajanaku finding Koba on the right side. He drives to the middle. Holds up. Gets it back for Richmond. And now for Jalen Tott. Stops and pops a three. No good. Back to the rim. Kai Koba came flying in trying to get that rebound. Effort is not going to get rewarded that time. As a coach, that's something you want to see, even if the effort didn't get rewarded on that particular occasion. Keep making those efforts, it'll work out for you. So Providence still with a two-point lead, 50 to 48, 15, 14, 55 to go here in this second half. Vining pops a three, no good. Out of play, off a of yellow jacket. So another opportunity here for the Argonauts. Again trying to extend a lead. Neither team's been able to do it. The largest lead in this game was held by the Argonauts and it was five points. All second half, they've been exchanging twos here and there. And now a lob pass inside for Jake Olson. Now down low for Freddie Brown. Back out, Jalen Reed. Threes up and good. So back to the five point advantage for the Argonauts. Now Jawan Tot finds Kai Koba on the right side. Looking for a pass. May have found one. Tipped away, though. Foul there. Freddie Brown stepped in front of Zaron Richmond. A little too much contact there. So the inbound here from Jawan Tot. All the way to the top. Benny Fungala will take a step back. Drop it off for Ajanaku, right back for Fungala. Looking for a screen, got the three up, no good, in and out. So the Argonauts take the rebound, chance to get their biggest lead. Jalen Reed drives, drops it off. Vining steps in, deep two, no good. Ajanaku takes a rebound. And Benny Fungala up the floor for the Jackets. Dropping it off, Juwan Top, bounce pass, Ajanaku. Posting up, back out for Richmond, now for Fungala, another three. That one falls, Benny Fungala, three is good. Jackets trail by two. 
Harris Williams dropping it off for Olsen. Now for Vining. Vining dropping it back off. Harris Williams slowing the pace down. No rush here for the Argonauts. And now kicks it into the corner. Right back to him. Lob pass. Olsen got a hand on it but out of play. So a throw away there for the Argonauts. Zeron Richmond has the inbound for the Jackets. And he'll sub out with Daniel Moody. So Moody's going to have the inbound. Jackets trail 53-51, 13-10 to go in the second half. And the inbound comes for Jawan Tot. Famous left hand up on the bench, ready to sub in. Kai Koba working on the right corner. Back for Tot. Tot pops the two. Foul line distance, no good. Harris Williams, bounce pass, quick break here. Brown steps in, and good. Freddie Brown ran into a wall, and Benny Fungala still got the points out of it. Four-point lead for the Argonauts. Jawan Todd outside for Moody. Now for Koba. Lob pass picked off there by Jake Olson. Nice effort on the read there. Freddie Brown pops a three. No good. Rebound taken there by Ajanaku. Moody. Fungala. Quick passes here from the Jackets. Fungala. Back for Tot. Tot picks up a screen, drives the lane, puts it up, swatted there. Grabbed it. And strong effort there. Spinning, trying to keep it in play. Put it off an Argonaut and back out. Savvy from Jawan Tot. Subs on the floor for the Jackets. Everyone except Kai Koba and Daniel Moody are going to come out. Famous left hand, Bryce Whitaker and Emmanuel Ajanaku in. Whitaker's inbounds. Handed right back to him. Out for Koba. Kai Koba drops a three. So Jackets cut the deficit to one. 11.57 to go, second half. Kai Koba has been a source of points from the bench for these Yellow Jackets this season. He's been a little quiet the last couple. If there was a time to come alive and do it again, it'd be tonight. Freddie Brown working on the outside, drops it off for Milner. Driving to the baseline, turned back by Koba. His bounce pass inside Currington. Great pass and great finish there from Currington. And he's going to pick up the end one as well. Bryce Whitaker with the foul. That'll bring us to immediate timeout with 11.29 to go. Second half, Yellow Jackets trail 57-54. Media timeout complete. We'll get back to work. 11.59 to go. Second half here at Alterowitz Gym. The Yellow Jackets trail the Argonauts 57-54. to Caleb Currington standing at the stripe for the Argonauts trying to complete his three-point play. Currington. 
Carrington is two for two from the stripe so far tonight. Make it two for three. That one comes out. So the Jackets deficit will stick at three for now. Again, largest lead for either team tonight has been five. It belonged to the Argos. Now Kai Koba driving at the baseline, kicks it back for Daniel Moody. Daniel Moody drives, spins up. No good, back of the rim. Currington takes a rebound. Pass tipped by Moody. And they're gonna say Moody had last touch. Hard work on the press. That's something we haven't seen from the Jackets yet tonight. They've generated a lot of steals and a lot of turnovers, pressuring that initial inbound. I expect we'll see more of it as we get down to the wire here. Just under halfway through this second half, down by three, Currington finds Milner. Stepping in, spins back, kicks it back out for Currington, five to shoot. Kaoli drives, spins back, fades on the two, it's good. Couldn't ask for better if you're the Argonauts, getting points, using up as much time as possible. There Drayton Kaoli cashes in. Jackets down by five. Left hand gets it out for Jalen Todd. He'll drop it off for Kai Koba. Finds some space, now for left hand. Left hand back for Koba, three from the right corner. No good, too much on that one. Milner, good effort there to keep it in bounds. Finding Kaoli, stepping in, turn back. Finds Milner mid-range two, it's good. Eric Milner drops it in. Seven point lead for the Argonauts. Jackets are gonna take a timeout. Head coach Luke Fennelly is gonna have a chance to settle his troops down. These two teams traded points coming out of the gate here in the second half. But these last few minutes have been all Argonauts. Last three buckets in a row belong to the Argos, including six of the last eight. Jackets need to find a way to get some points and they gotta stop the bleeding at their own end of the court. Three game win streak certainly in jeopardy at the moment. Make sure you join us Saturday night. Rimrock Rivalry, the sequel. The Jackets dropped the first installment at Rocky Mountain College back on November 15th by a final score of 70 to 69. Dating back to last season, two games against Rocky Mountain College, two losses, the total point differential, two points. Jackets trying to avenge back-to-back one-point losses. They got some work to do here first though. 9.58 to go in this one. Jackets trail 61-54. It's the largest lead held by either team all night. No pun intended. They gotta find a way to get themselves buzzing offensively. They gotta find a way to lock down the Argonauts at the other end of the floor. Jalen Tott getting it started. Works it around for Emmanuel Ajanaku, right back for Tot. Direct in traffic, right back for Ajanaku. He'll step in, posting up, spins, puts it up. One-handed, no good, two-pointer misses. Rebound taken there by Kaoli. And he'll work it across for Harris Williams. And again, Argo slowing the pace down a little bit. No need to rush with a seven point lead. Run as much clock as you can. Harris Williams drives in, bounce pass, backside. Knocked away by Zeron Richmond. Timely block. Sam Norm was all by himself in the paint, or so it looked. Zeron Richmond, last second defense there, keeping the deficit at seven for now. Famous left hand, spin, shoots, no good. Rebound taken by Jalen Tott. Poked away though by Kaoli. Back pressure by its famous left hand. And he's gonna pick up the foul there. So out of the madness, Argonauts are gonna keep possession.
Kaoli for the inbound, 8.54 to go, second half. Argo is holding on to a seven point lead. Largest of the game, Harris Williams drives, puts it up off the glass and good. He's gonna pick up the end one opportunity here as well. Chance to make it a 10 point cushion for the Argonauts. So Davy and Harris Williams looking to pick up three here. He does, it's a 10 point lead for the Argonauts on Harris Williams, 18th point of the contest. Only Jalen Reed has more, he's sitting at 20. Zeron Richmond, and foul defensively there from Harris Williams. Also important to note, the Jackets are up to seven fouls in the half. Bonus territory for the Argonauts. Jalen Tott takes the inbound. Jackets need to play with some pace and they gotta get some stops defensively. Working it around, bounce pass. Zeron Richmond down low, no good. Gets his own rebound, poked away and out of play. So the Jackets will keep possession. Four on the shot clock. Richmond did hit the rim on the initial shot. I believe we should get a reset on the shot clock. They will. Richmond did hit the rim on that initial shot attempt. So Jackson with a fresh clock. Inbound comes from Jalen Todd all the way up for Benny Fungala. Right back for Todd. Now setting the offense. He'll make his move back out. Richmond thought about the three, steps in. Richardson, three from the corner, no good, Raymond out. Rebound collected by Jalen Tott, bounce pass for Richmond. He'll put up the three. That one in and out. Jackets are snake bit. Two threes in and out. And Harris Williams imploring his teammates to slow it down. 10 point lead, clock ticking under 10, and they're gonna take a backcourt violation here. So Yellow Jackets will take back possession. That'll take us to immediate timeout. 7.40 to go, second half. Jackets trail by 10. Media timeout complete, 7.40 to go in regulation. Jackets trail 64-54. Needing a lot of points. Last possession for the Jackets. Steven Richardson and Zeron Richmond both had threes that looked in and found a way to bounce back out. It's been a difficult run for the Jackets in this second half. They got even at the end of the first, traded some twos. Back and forth early. Six straight baskets for the Argos. Daniel Moody driving the baseline, his pass. Finds Richmond, back to the top. Top, Moody, threes up, and good! Daniel Moody stopping the drought, maybe. Get a couple more, they start feeling a little bit better right now. Deficits back to seven. 
Clock ticking down under 7.10 to go in regulation. Handing it off, Harris Williams finds Kaoli. Drayton Kaoli, nice crossover there. Bounce pass backside for Jake Olson. Came back out. He's going to pick up the foul, though. So that's going to send Jake Olson to the stripe. First trip of the night for the big man. Chance to do some damage. First one's good. Leads back to eight for the Argonauts. And he goes two for two. So the lead back to nine for Providence. Under seven to go in regulation. Jalen Tott for Richardson, right back to Tott. Now Richardson inside, Moody puts it up. He's fouled on the way, he'll take it to the line. And we're getting some discussion on the floor here. We'll see what comes out of it. As it looked, Daniel Moody was going to head to the line. That may not be the case. They're going to discuss it. So that is not going to hold up. The Argonauts are going to take possession. And first free throw from Davian Harris-Williams. My only guess right now is a tech for the Yellow Jackets. Uncontested free throws here for Davian Harris-Williams. He misses both. Fortunate bounce for the Jackets because the Argos are going to take possession from this as well. They are not. It looks like we got matching fouls here. So Daniel Moody is going to have an opportunity to slice into this lead. And he hits his first. Second one drops as well, so the pressure coming on for the Yellow Jackets. Daniel Moody doesn't blink. Deficit's back to seven. Argos will take possession here. Jackets up to nine fouls in the half. The Argos currently sitting at five. Got to keep that in mind as we get closer to the finish. Jackets got to be careful on the fouls. And thrown away there. Jalen Reed got a hand on it, but not enough to keep it in play. So another fortunate bounce there for the Yellow Jackets. Chance to climb further back into this game. Daniel Moody inbounds for Jalen Tott. And he'll drop it off for Zaron Richmond. Now for Benny Fungala. Fungala finds a lane, puts it up. No good. Doesn't matter, we had a whistle ahead of time. I believe Vining is gonna pick up the foul. He will, so Jackets are gonna inbound. And up top, Zeron Richmond, now for left hand. Famous left hand, back for Tot. And now for Moody. Right back for Tot, 10 on the shot clock. Tot trying to drive. He does, now for Richmond, five on the shot clock. He'll drive in, puts it up, going for the dunk, didn't get there. Moody putting it up on the rebound. 
And it looks like we got a shot clock violation. But again, did we just not get a shot clock reset? In any case, it doesn't matter. Argos blocked the second chance opportunity and took possession. So they'll inbound under six to go in regulation. Jackets trail by seven. It's 66-59 here at Alterowitz Gym. Jalen Reed driving, spins back. Fungala sticks to him. Now outside, Currington drives the baseline. Bounce pass, backside. Harris Williams, no good. Rebound taken by Olsen. Back for Reed, he'll step in. Posting up, that'll be a charge. So the Jackets will keep, Jackets will take possession rather. Hard work on defense. Jackets didn't yield anything there. Maybe a little bit fortunate on that miss from Davian Harris-Williams. In any case, they still trail by seven. Jalen Tott back to work, steps in, out for Moody. Now working back around, Fungla drives up off the glass and good! Benny Fungla cutting the deficit to five. 5.15 to go. And now back outside, Harris Williams. Little shake and bake, kicks it out for Currington. Currington to the top, Reed, threes up, no good, in and out. Little bad luck swinging back the other direction. Benny Fungla with the rebound, turning and burning all the way to the glass. It's good, he'll head to the line. Benny Fungla, chance to pick up five straight points. Trying to get these jackets back within two. Benny Fungala with another fantastic performance. We saw him put in a sensational dunk in the latter stages of Saturday night's game. And he's up to 18 points in this one. A couple of fantastic efforts back to back. Jackets trail 66-64, under five in regulation. Jake Olson. Stops a dribble, pass inside, Kaoli knocked away by Moody. Rebound taken, fouled there was Jalen Tott. So Jackets will keep up possession here. They are also into bonus territory. Every foul from here on out is going to send somebody to, to the line. One and one opportunity here for Todd. If you're not sure, if he makes this one, he shoots another one, he will. On the season, shot, Todd shooting just under 70%. This will add to that percentage. Two for two from the stripe here. Jackets even, 66 all. Four and a half in regulation. Davian Harris-Williams works it around for Reed. That pass is tipped away by Moody. Reed keeps it and resumes the dribble. He'll drive in. His pass thrown away. We're going to see here. No ruling yet. And the Argos will keep possession. Ten on the shot clock. Inbound is going to come from Milner just above the baseline. His inbound comes for Harris Williams. He'll stop, pop the three, no good. Rebound taken there by Reed. He'll drive in, working on Zeron Richmond, taking away. Benny Fugel on turning and burning, dropping it off for Jalen Tott. His pass, left hand, made it work. Then his left hand hits the three. Jalen Tott made the pass work down low. Famous left hand did the rest. Jackets back to the lead. Harris Williams stuffed and turning the other way. That's going to be a foul on the Jackets from the looks of it. And that'll take us to immediate timeout. 3.41 to go. The Yellow Jackets have regained the lead on a three-pointer from famous left hand. 
Jackets currently on a 13 to two run. Just when it was looking real bleak, they'd fallen down by 10, they storm back in the latter stages of regulation. We're gonna stay through the timeout. This latest lead change for the Yellow Jackets is the 12th of this game. The Jackets have held the lead for all of five minutes and eight seconds of game time. Providence, big up in that category. Currently, their lead time is 25.06. The Jackets have their way, that'll stay there. Jackets with a chance to get out of here with a victory over an in-state opponent. And carry some momentum into their Saturday showdown with the Rocky Battle and Bears. Still plenty of work to do here. 341 to go. Second half, Jackets lead 69-66. Two teams have matched each other blow for blow, not unlike a great boxing match. One side punches, the other side counters. Providence had a fantastic run. These two teams came out in the second half, traded some twos. Providence took their run. Looking to take a victory off the Jackets here at home. Jackets storm back, left hand to the line. Off the technical foul, all sorted out here. So, chance to stretch this lead as far as five. Four famous left hand, and he does. He has not missed from the foul line this year. So the Jackets to their largest lead of the game, 71-66. And they're gonna keep possession as well with a chance to add to it. Inbound for Jalen Tott. Drops it off for Fungala. Fungala drives, holds up. Now for Moody. Moody drives, spins. Poked away by Providence, but out of play. So Jackets keep possession. 13 on the shot clock, 3.25 to go. In about 15 seconds of game time, Jackets picked up their largest lead. That one from left hand on the fade, missed. Moody takes the rebound up off the glass, no good. Put back effort there by Zaron Richmond. Adding to the lead, 73-66. Davian Harris-Williams drives, kicks it out. Vining, three, is good. Sam Vining pulling him back into it. Deficit now down to four. Each team with nine personal fouls in this second half. 3.02 to go in this one. Jackets hanging on to a four point lead. Certainly no lead has been safe in this game. Seeing the Jackets erase a 10-point deficit in this second half. Now the Argos trying to erase a deficit of their own. They're off to a solid start. They've gone from seven down to four down. Possession back for the Yellow Jackets. Daniel Moody has the inbound. And Jalen Tott slowing the pace down up the floor for the Yellow Jackets. Sets the play. Now Benny Fungala. Fungala back for Richmond inside. Jalen Tott down low. Points in the paint for the Yellow Jackets. Six point lead. Davian Harris-Williams, what an effort keeping possession there. 
Outside, threes up, Jalen Reed no good. Rebound taken there by Olsen. Back for Vining, Vining deep two is good. Sam Vining holds the last five points for the Argos. Again, the deficit is four. Jalen Tott, little crossover drive. Draw on the foul, put back his own opportunity anyway. He'll have a chance to get this lead back to six for his Yellow Jackets. Jalen Tott with a chance to pick up four points in the last couple minutes here. First one's good. Each team with three players in double digit point territory. Jalen Tock goes two for two from the stripe, so the lead is back to six, 2.10 to go. Davian Harris Williams, a lot of moves, kicks it back out. Reed, open, look, hits the three. Jalen Reed again, trimming the deficit. It is three. As I said, neither team's been able to get comfortable with a lead. Jalen Todd, his pass tipped away by Olsen, gets it ahead. Kaoli on the fast break. Two on one, puts it up, no good. Put back there by Jake Olsen. Picking up the foul is Kaoli, so he's going to head to the stripe. Foul's going to go against Benny Fungula. So a chance to shrink this deficit to just one. Neither team's been able to keep control in this game. Certainly the Argos have held it for longer. But either team has managed to erase deficits of five or greater. Argos at one point led by ten. Jacket's largest lead was seven. That may be about to get cut to one by Drayton Kaoli, and it is. So Kaoli cashes in on his opportunities. 77, 76, 135 to go. Regulation time here at Alterowitz Gym. Daniel Moody out for Jalen Tott. Tott makes a move, puts up a three, no good. Back of the rim, rebound taken there by Kaoli. Leading the break, he'll pivot back. Slowing the pace down, clock's gonna tick under 110 here before they put up a shot. Poked away from uh, Harris Williams, pardon me. Nearly said Benny Fungala, they wear the same number four. Out of play though, so Harris Williams inbounds for Kaoli. Kaoli looking for a lane, turned back by Moody. Harris Williams drives, steps back, deep two is good. Davey and Harris Williams. Up to 20 points in the contest. He and Jalen Reed have had a game for sure. Harris Williams, four total rebounds to go with his 20 points along with three assists. Jalen Reed, four rebounds of his own and another three assists to go with 23 points. On the other side of the floor, famous left hand and Benny Fungala each with 18. Leading the team, Jalen Tott into double digits. Now for the fourth, third consecutive game. Put up a season high last outing against Alaska Fairbanks. Put up 19 in that effort. Under a minute to go, Alterowitz Jam. Yellow Jackets trail the Argonauts 78-77. Jackets back to the offense. Zeron Richmond, bounce pass. Fungula back for Richmond. He has a lane, drives in, puts it up. No good, he'll draw the foul though. Harris Williams stayed down for a moment. Looks to be okay. So Zeron Richmond headed to the stripe for the Yellow Jackets with a chance to give them a one point lead.
Chance to put himself in double-digit points as well. He's currently at eight, two for two from the stripe. First one comes in and out. Back of the rim. So the best they can do right now is get it even. Second one, nothing but net there for Zoran Richmond. 78 all, 44 seconds to go, regulation time. Jalen Reed up the floor, dropping it off for Kaoli. Crowd wants a stop, let's see if they can do it. Drayton Kaoli drives, it's up off the rim, no good, Zoran Richmond takes a rebound. Shot clock is dead. Gotta believe the Jackets are gonna play for their last shot of the game. 20 even to go, Luke Fennelly calls a timeout. Gotta find your shot. They're gonna have 20 seconds to do it, no worries on the shot clock. Find a play, make it work. You need one bucket to win a game. Let's see if they can get it here. Certainly the closest game we've seen here at home so far this season for the Jackets. Prior to this, their largest differential of victory was by seven. That was against Alaska Anchorage last Thursday night. This one, in all likelihood, is gonna be quite a bit closer than that. 20 ticks to go, 78 all. Yellow Jackets. Potentially the last possession of the game with a chance to win it. On the floor for the Jackets, Daniel Moody, Zeron Richmond, Benny Fungala, Jalen Tott, and famous left hand. Shooters on the floor. Fungala slowing the pace down, 10 to go. Playing for that last opportunity. Steps back, Jalen Tott, he's the one you want to take it. Three to go, gotta get a shot, fading on the three. No good, front of the rim. We will head to overtime here at Alterowitz Gym. Last second shot coming off for Jalen Tott. 78 all, we'll step aside, overtime coming up. Overtime just about set to get underway here at Alterowitz Gym. 40 minutes has not been enough. We'll get at least five more. Why not? These two teams have been back and forth all night. Fantastic game to this point. We are tied for the 12th time in this game. Either team with a handful of double digit scorers. We are set to go. Fungala, Moody, left hand, Richmond, and Tot on the floor. Jalen Tot, that is, for the Yellow Jackets. 
They win the tip, off we go. First possession belongs to them. Jalen Tott works it for Fungala, right back for Tott and around for left hand. Back to the top, Fungala, three. No good, back of the rim, rebound by Daniel Moody. Pivots away from the defender. And did pick up the foul, so Moody's gonna head to the stripe. Chance to pick up the first points of overtime. First one's good. Daniel Moody, the senior out of Tucson, Arizona. Now up to 12 points on the night. And that's where it's gonna stay. Jack, it's one point lead, long feed all the way up. Jake Alton blocked by Daniel Moody. Back pressure. Daniel Moody taking away a wide open chance for Jake Olson. Jackets one point lead still intact. Jalen Tott, lob pass inside, right back. Richmond, three. It's good. Zaron Richmond, three pointer. Gives him 100 points on the season. At 88 coming into this one, 12 so far. Harris Williams answers. Davian Harris Williams not to be outdone. Back to back threes here in overtime. Jackets lead 82 81. We'll get a timeout. That one coming from the Yellow Jackets. Timeout complete. Jackets had a chance to talk it over. They saw their four point lead vanish to one in a hurry. Thanks to Davian Harris Williams. Jackets, five double digit scorers in this game. Argonauts with three, two of those up over 20. Harris Williams and Jalen Reed, each with 23. Lob pass all the way across. Ron Richmond makes a man miss, goes in. Rebound taken there by Moody. Puts it back. The foul, though, is going to send Zeron Richmond to the stripe. Richmond's first one drops. And early movement there from Benny Fungala. It's gonna put a stop to the opportunity there. So, Jackets lead by two. Richmond four for five from the stripe this evening. Jackets two point lead. Argonauts back to work. Davy and Harris Williams spins, drives, drops it back door for Jake Olson up off the glass and good. Great pass there from Harris Williams. Side again, 83 apiece here at Alterowitz Gym. Overtime, 312 to go. Richmond fading mid range, two falls. Zaron Richmond's has been a force here in this overtime period for the Yellow Jackets. Back to a two point lead. Harris Williams outside for Milner. Milner hands it off for Reed. Reed pops a three. No good, backboard. So Jackets lead still intact. They'll take possession again. Jalen Tott directing traffic, 240 to go. Bounce pass for Richmond. Posting up, spins, fades on the two, no good, front of the rim. That one's taken by Milner. Outlets for Reed. His pass all the way back across for Milner. 
Spins at the foul line, fades on the two, no good. Rebound taken by Richmond. And pass now for Benny Fungla driving on the baseline. Nice pass backside for Daniel Moody. Got it to go. But he's going to pick up the foul offensively there. So points don't count. The difference is still two. Fantastic work down low. Benny Fungla with a great pass. Picking up the foul on the finish. As we tick down to two minutes here in overtime, still no real separation, just two-point lead. Harris Williams trying to erase that right now. Took some contact, no foul called. Possession back for the Yellow Jackets with Jalen Tott. And now Tott spins away, drops it off for Richmond, now for left hand. Back for Richmond. Thought about the three, now he steps in. Baseline two is good. Zoran Richmond doing it again. Make it 17 points for the Billings native. Jalen Reed driving in, draws a whistle there. And believe the Argonauts called timeout there. So offensive possession, they're going to have an inbound from their, from the offensive side of the floor. They trail by four with 1.23 to go in the overtime. Fourteen lead changes in this game. Will this one be the last? The Jackets lead by four. 123 to go. Overtime period. Lob pass inside. Finds Jalen Reed. Great patience. Initial attempt was knocked away. Puts back the second chance. So the deficit now just two for the Argonauts. 110 to go. Overtime. Jackets looking for a little insurance here. Jalen Tott, bounce pass for Daniel Moody. Inside, Richmond knocked away. And savvy there from Jalen Reed. Fading out of bounds, put it off Zeron Richmond and out. So the Argonauts with a chance to even it up, potentially take a lead. 56.5 to go in the overtime. Bounce pass, finds Reed, he'll drive. Turn back by Moody. Lobs it all the way back for Harris Williams near half court. Harris Williams pulls up. Waiting, waiting, makes a move, gets through. Through the lane, it's good off the glass. Davian Harris Williams. Points number 24 and 25. Yellow Jackets again. Late possession, even game. This time 87 all, clock ticking under 20 in the overtime. Pressured there by Freddie Brown. Now he drives in, spins back, seven on the shot clock, gets it for Richmond, now for Moody, down low, looking for the dunk. Poked away at the last second. Believe, yeah, that's gonna be a goaltending call. Desperation there for the Argos, trying to keep that score even. Not to be, so the Jackets are gonna pick up two points on the goaltending call. In theory, no change, there's the change on the scoreboard. So two point lead for the Jackets, six seconds to go. They need one more stop to put this thing to bed. 
Overtime period, just as every other has before it. Coming down to the wire, we ended the first half tied at 38. Second half ended tied. Second half ended tied at 78. Jackets with an 89-87 lead. Six seconds left in overtime. The Argos are going to have one last chance for a game, potentially game-winning shot. Got to believe it's going to run through either Davian Harris-Williams or Jalen Reed, each with 25 points in this one. Sam Vining also in the mix with 17. You're going to shoot for a game winner. Vining's three for four from outside the arc tonight. That may be who to go for. We'll see what they do. Vining is not on the floor. Some time back on the clock. They're up to 7.6. And trying to get everything correct from the draw up standpoint. Inbound's gonna come near side of the court. Plenty, plenty of time to get a shot off for the Argos. Like I said, 7.6 to go. Two point deficit. On the floor for the Argos, it's Kaoli, Brown, Harris Williams, Reed and Olsen on the other side for the Jackets. Moody, Fungala, Jawan Tot, Richmond and Richardson inbound. Here we go. Clock starts on the touch. There it is. Williams finding Kaoli. Touch pass right back. Harris Williams open three at the buzzer. No good. Had the look, but it didn't fall. The Jackets are going to get out of here with a two point overtime victory over the University of Providence. They extend their win streak to four games. Make it five of six they've taken here on their seven game homestand. Scoring a plenty in this one. The Jackets with five different players in double digit points. Famous left hand and Benny Fungala led the way with 18 apiece. Zeron Richmond right there with 17, scored his 100th point of the season in the process. And on the other side of the floor, Jalen Reed and Davian Harris Williams, each with 25 points. Harris Williams, a last second look, just didn't fall. Jackets are going to get out of here. 89-87 victors over an in-state opponent tonight. Coming up Saturday night, Jackets will look to take one more off an NAIA opponent. It's the Rocky Battle and Bears, the second installment of the Rimrock Rivalry for men's basketball. That one's going to get underway at 5.30 p.m. Join us for that one. Double header. Women for each side will take the floor immediately following the men's game. From there, both teams are going to hit the road and head to the Daytona Beach shootout down in Florida before they break for the holidays. Thriller tonight. Jackets get out of here. Two-point victors in overtime, 89-87 over the University of Providence. Join us Saturday night. The Jackets take on the Rocky Battle and Bears. Until next time.